So GitHub can be used to collaborate on code with other people. And when collaborating, you should be working on separate branches. You should make sure that the other person is happy with you merging branches together when you're happy with the changes that you've made. So instead of merging them from the command line locally, you can submit a request to merge them through GitHub. And we call this making a pull request. It's called a pull request because you are requesting to pull your changes into someone else's code. Importantly, pull requests are always referred to as PRs. So now when you hear that, you'll know what it means. So you can make a pull request in a repo on GitHub by going to the pull requests tab. Here, I've also got a pop-up saying that I've had a new change to a particular branch, which I was working on recently, and it gives me a prompt to quickly create a pull request, which by default will be from that branch into main. But otherwise you can click new pull request and then you can choose where you want to merge into and where you're merging from. So I want to merge into main. That's going to be the base for this pull request. And I'm going to merge in a new feature. So it's giving me a preview of what this pull request is going to do. It shows me the commits, which is going to change and highlights those in the code. Then I can hit the green button to create the pull request. I can change the title and give a description, add labels and everything else if I wanted, and then create the pull request. So now I've opened a pull request. This is my first pull request. If I go to the pull requests tab, you'll see that I've got this PR open. So you can see the commits, which I'm requesting to pull into the main branch in the conversation tab. And in this tab, you can leave all kinds of comments or whatever else you want. And once you're happy, you or someone else can merge in the changes by hitting that green button. Amongst other things, which I'll leave you to explore, you can configure who's able to approve and merge PRs in the settings tab of the repo. You can also configure checks or code to run, which can block merging if that needs to. So that's what's happening down here. I've got some checks already implemented and it's running those on the PR being made. And so this one's passed. And just as a side note, the check which I've got implemented here is called WIP. That stands for work in progress. And that's one of the checks that you'll actually be prompted to set up when you create a new repo from GitHub. So what WIP does is it checks the title or the description for the pull request and sees if it contains WIP for work in progress. And if it does, that indicates that this pull request is still a work in progress, so you don't want to merge it yet. And so that workflow there, it'll block the, the PR. You can see that if I add WIP in here, It runs the check and that check never ends. It keeps on going because the title contains whip. So it blocks the pull request. So actually in this case, it doesn't block the merge, but it just doesn't give the green button here. If you did want it to block, then you could change those in the settings for this repo. The files change tab of PRs are also where code reviews happen. So if I click into there, you can see all of the changes that were made to the code. Collaborators can see changes, leave comments and approval request changes, as well as give feedback in here. And then they can submit a review to send you those changes. And all the things that you leave in the code review will show up in the conversations tab. PRs are maybe one of the most important concepts in GitHub and professional code collaboration, so get used to them.